Mr. President, you have been very supportive of uh, black colleges. You've issued an executive order. You recommended a $9.3 million increase in the budget, of higher education budget for these schools. Uh, there are people in this country, however, who believe, seriously believe, black and white, that black people cannot learn unless they're with white people. Yeah, I think that that was described best by the black state superintendent of education of the state of California, my good friend Wilson Riles, when he said this idea that a black child can't learn unless they're sitting between two white kids is demeaning and humiliating, and I think he's absolutely right. The black colleges, I know it sounds inconsistent. We should be saying, well, if we're talking about uh, non-segregation in, in uh, the other colleges and universities, why should we be specifically helping these? Well, in the first place, the black colleges do not restrict. Uh, uh, white students are permitted to enter there if they want, but they are predominantly black. But there is a very rich heritage. There is a, a symbolism in them, and the contribution that they have made not only to the blacks who graduated, but to the whole of society, the people that have come out of them. I think it is well worthwhile in our government helping uh, those colleges.